All right. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of The Wiley Show. We got a lot to discuss. First and foremost, when y'all come up in the room, say, hey. Now, Russell Simmons, again, when I saw this story, I was um, giggling. Um, shout out to the Jasmine brand because they post this story uh, on their Instagram page. And this is about Russell Simmons. And he said that he was kind of shocked that he was getting served, right? He's in Bali. He, you know, he's doing yoga. He's on his, you know, his healthy, you know, journey. And so it was a case out of New York that someone served him and he was shocked that he got served. Russell um, um, Simmons left stunned after being served with defamation lawsuit and Bali from one of his SA accusers. And they're saying, according to the report from All Hip Hop, they're saying that uh, Russell was caught off guard when a server handed him a lawsuit for one of his assault accusers, former music ex uh, executive Drew Dex Dexton, um, for defamation, reporting on March 5th, an in individual named Daniel John uh, into Russell uh, uh, inside of the Bali uh, Health and Awareness Resort around 12 30 p.m local time surprisingly the server wasn't stopped by security they pretended like they was there you know uh to get something to eat or and then they saw and then he, they lied and they didn't see russell Simmons. they they say hey i just want to do a tour and then they gave him a letter in front of the meeting and say hey you've been served now let me say this this is why i feel like he's a liar because did he say he was Poor, his ex-wife stole all his money. He ain't got no cash. And for him to sit here and blankly lie and talk about that he ain't got no money. Well, why you got all this money for security? How are you in Bali? And you, you know, you on your health. That stuff costs money. But the gag is people think just because you go overseas, you can't be served. Yes, you can. They travel. So you mean to tell me you went and traveled overseas to avoid of being served? How dumb can you be? Oh, let me go on out here and do my stretch. I mean, you eat your fruits, your vegetables, your bean pies, plants, sunflowers. And you think that's going to avoid you of being served? How dumb can you be? How dumb can you be? You need to come back to New York and address them allegations. You was bold enough to snatch that uni. You was bold enough to snatch that sausage. So be bold enough to answer those allegations. If you ain't bold enough to do it, they might as well write the check. Write the check. And don't let this new Russell get to you. Most of these weird, sick men, they try to reinvent themselves. They caused a lot of pain. Now they all, they about to crack up out of earth. So now they try to reinvent themselves. I'm into yoga. I'm in, I'm a vegan. I only eat plants and green water. But when they was younger, they was our worn people hitting them against the washer and the dryer, giving them a good old nasty leg drop. Taking a innocent, but now you get old. Now you got wrinkles. Now you want to get into some yoga. Now you want to stretch your muscles, but you should have stretched your manhood and kept it to yourself instead of stretching them inches in somebody's womb. And they didn't want your inches in a room. Don't try to reinvent yourself now in Bali and hide. 
you was a mess in America. Come on back and write that check to your alleged victims. Bring your green water, bring your plants. We got plenty of plants in America. You trying to hide in Bali. You cause all that pain and hell to people in America. Come back and answer. You think the fans can't come and raid where you at in Bali? They get the permission from them? They'll come get you from over there with that hat. I know it stink like a swamp. It's oozing with filth. Do I believe that Russell did it? Absolutely. That's why he had in Bali. Then you got Usher over there with the bumps. Let it burn. You talking about his mouth? Them sauce? He over there smiling with little girls. Uh-oh. Usher. Little bitty girls smiling and che- cheesing with little girls over there. You see this? Wake up, people. Out of everybody, you go over there for what? That's why that album didn't sell, Usher. You're going to be back in Vegas again doing 300,000 shows. You're the only person from the Super Bowl album didn't sell. You might as well could have performed at home, could have kept performing and riding them skates in Vegas. Now, the Russell Simmons, don't be shocked. That somebody served you, you done. Where was your security? Sleeping on the job? Eating grass? Drinking green water? Where were your security? Y'all too busy out there with the little girls. You left your, you left your security posts. How you let a server get you in Bali? Do you know how incompetent you got to be? You get served in Bali? I can understand if it was in Cali. I can understand if it was in a rat-infested New York. I can understand if it was in that Katrina swamp water, New Orleans. I can understand that. I can understand you getting served in Mississippi. We talking about Mississippi where they sleep with each other cousins. Only graduated from the third grade and got messed up teeth. I can understand that. I can understand if that's in Alabama. They ain't got no sense down there like that. I know you from Alabama. You ain't got no sense. Anybody with some sense, leave Alabama. Most parts of Alabama ain't got no street light, no, no stop sign, dirt roads. So I'm just being honest. And I'm not going to stop because I said, man, this man really thought he was going to get away from this. He really thought he was going to get away. Just because you had it, I'm going to find you and serve you with paper. Here I am. You can't hide. I'm going to find you and serve you with some papers. You can hide. You can't hide in Bali, oh baby, but I gotta find you with this paper, ready or not. I don't care you drinking water. I don't care you listening to Buddha. You getting served with this document. Whoever that victim was believed that they they really want you. Anytime they pay for the process server to get a passport, 
to travel overseas to serve you, that means they really want some financial justice. Talk back to me in this chat. They really need financial justice. Uh, let's not play this game, Russell. You know you did wrong. That's why you got, that's why your face sinking in. That ain't from no yoga. That's from that package. Alleg that's from that package. It ain't from Amazon. It ain't from UPS. That's from Phil. Nobody playing no games here. You know what you did. Repent. Change from your wicked, sick, demonic ways. Pay them people back the money you took. The innocent. There ain't no amount of money to replace somebody innocence that will snatch somebody dignity. When somebody R word do you lose yourself? It's hard to come back from that. The nightmares, the night sweats, the losing your appetite. Have to see this man with this hat getting the glory, the fame, the Grammys. Knowing that this is the man that violated me. You don't just get over that. You don't. You don't just get over that. That's something that stays with you and some people learn how to deal with it and overcome it and survive it but everybody don't have that story some folks can't make it after they have get goes through that traumatic experience that type of trauma thank you blue sky that give you ptsd while he's eating green grass and drinking green water and doing some yoga you should have been eating green grass and yoga before you violated young women. You should have been yoga and then. But now you want to yoga and you violated all them women. You know you was wrong. <sighs> Trying to hide. And Diddy ain't no better. He on, he on a private jet flying in the air. Come back to America and answer the, to the feds. Ain't no use of you flying in no jet, Diddy. Land that private jet. You should have stayed in that jet before you violated Cassie. Before you had the free calls. Before you were swallowing up innocent male victims. Before you was allegedly trafficking. You should have stayed in your jet and never came back to America. You should have went with Elon Musk and got on a, 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 a spaceship and went to Mars with that foolishness. You should have left Earth. But now you want to fly and hide. You can't. You black on a private jet. It ain't too many of y'all in the sky. You stand out. You going down. The feds want you. Come back. Get your fingerprint. Get your three trunk sandwiches. And be Big Bertha girlfriend.
Remember you, you had? They can see your play. They tracking it right now. Just, just go on and land. It's your dumb self. Just so stupid. Now you want to have. You should have repent from your wickedness. Got some therapy. That ain't normal to take a woman's innocence. A male innocence. That's not normal, sicko. You stinking man. I don't care how rich you are, you stink. Y'all, excuse me. I'm very passionate. But I had to say what I had to say. We're going to move on. Let's bring up Larry Reed. So while I was minding my own business and y'all's too, a viewer of mine, a, a friend in the media business, mouth. TV, a friend of the show. They send me some DMs. Two DMs they sent me. And this is from CTV. You know, the one that got the package. The three-letter package. This is what he said. This is what the one Larry Mentee, this they got the package. He said this quote, actually, I had no idea this lie with these allegations against me had even occurred and nobody had brought it to me, I guess, because the person who spewed this untrue claim has already been discredited by my work years ago on him, which were all fact-based and can be pulled up in the court system so folks know nothing that comes out of McWig nor trash Shake broke a word mouth are true. I just got tested this morning while at my checkup, and we will be pulling up my results tomorrow on my my chart for us all to see. And after that, I want everyone else to pull up their test results and let's see who can show and prove their status. Because I'm down with the test result party. Let's have an MF test release party. Well, first of all. Tell Larry to release his test results. See, if you ain't got it, you ain't got to prove that you ain't got it. You will know it. For you to sit there and say, I didn't even know that this was going on. That's a lie. Brother, you sat there and you cried. You was crying. It hurt your feelings with that wig. Your spirit was broken in that trailer park. Now you gonna talk about my chart. Sit down with that fraudulent my chart result. I don't trust nothing that come from your my chart, especially if it come from Larry Reed, doctor. That sick pedal, alleged pedal, according to the Vantre, Larry violated LaVondre. Now you talking about my chart. Yeah, go to my my chart. It's going to be from Google. It's going to be from Larry Reed, one of his lovers. Go graphic design that chart. It's going to be produced by the Larry Reed Dookie game. Enterprise. 
That's going to be a bunch of Photoshop and AI, BP and CC. So if you had it, why we got to wait? Why they is it? And my thing is, I really don't care. Because the lover from Trinidad said your mentor who you have screwed allegedly, CTV screwed there, said that he caught the H in the V and some in between that. The guy from Trinidad that was an international soccer player left the field with the white soccer ball and he had two balls. But the two balls According to the Trinidad soccer player, it was infected. And then the guy from Trinidad, Larry Reed, secret lover, he said, I want to get on prep. I need to take, I need to see you take a test. Larry refused. So the guy, because he's from Trinidad and their education level is not like America, he thought the prep was going to prevent the H in the V, in the P. He thought so. It couldn't, couldn't protect that. So his fiance, a black woman, said she got an outbreak. And he said, well, I got an outbreak too. And there's only one man that I gave my cheeks to that I bent over for. And it was Larry Reed. He said it. Bent over backwards. Legs in the air. And got infected. Down to the bloodstream. Infected. Eating them up on the inside. Now, man from Trinidad got cut off by Larry. Now he broke. Looking like he living on a foreclosed farm with a chicken coop. Felt. He don't look good no more. He look broke. Funky. Because that's what Larry do. He cut you off. And you got infected. Hey, that's what that man said. I don't know too many people want clout to say they got infected with a super bug. Ain't too many people I know that say, I got infected with a super bug for clout. Ain't too many people like they got infected. It reminded me when Pharaoh refused to let the children go and they start sending stuff to Egypt. And the people start getting infected with all type of things. Start, stuff start coming out the sky. But he instructed the children. He instructed God's people. When I see the blood, I pass on. But because that guy from Trinidad wasn't spiritual, he was in sin. He opens his legs up to a serpent. And that serpent infected him with something that he got to take medicine his entire life. Now, now the mentee, the CTV pulled to be so conscious. Now he in a mess. That man was doing so fine without all that evil. I told him, just stay in the trailer park. 
You can get out the trailer park. You don't need no car from Larry. He gonna infect you with evil. You gonna change, and now you change. You was fine when you was in the trailer park. You was fine when you was on food stamps. You was fine when you had the raggedy wigs, but you were so desperate. You were so desperate for a coin that you took it, but now you, according to William McCray, you infected. Now William McCray, grandma, granny, whatever they call him, Sir William McCray with those wrinkles said it. And what you don't understand, CTV, he got it. He said it. He got the H. Oh, yeah, he got it. Shout out to North Carolina Beat. Posted the recording on North Carolina Beat YouTube page. See? And now you got to make a statement. You got to try to act because you getting paid by that. You can't get cut off. They ain't going to do nothing but repossess that trailer. Repossess that car that's in Larry name. He paid off the trailer. It's in Larry Reed Ministry name. It ain't in your name. He paid off that trailer. He going to take it. Speak out against Larry if you want. You're going to be homeless. You're going to be out there with Jaguar right on the street. And when I saw it with this case of sickness and filth, doo-doo, and the filth is just, ew. <laughs> and the filth, <coughs> excuse me, and the filth is just, <laughs> and it felt it's oozing out. <laughs> so, <laughs> in my clothes, I was at the gym and I kept saying, and that stuff just be ews. <laughs> so I don't know why I got that ews. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I got that word from. You know me. I'm a creative word. Ah, is it in the dictionary? Is it oozing? Hello. Hey. Hey, what's up? Quick question. Yeah. Hey, you know that money you uh you sent me yesterday? Um, I'll pay you back. I think I'll pay you back that tomorrow. Oh, yeah. What? 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 That? No, that was for your drink. Oh, okay. But I do have a favor though. Can I borrow twenty dollars till tomorrow when I get paid? Oh, I have to see because I I'm I'm a bitch just paying my bills now. No, I'll give it back. Okay, I, I, I'm gonna see if I have it on the on the thing because like my account. Yeah, I get paid tomorrow at the three thirty, and I'll send it right back to you. Okay, I, I'm gonna see if I have it. Okay. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> you know.
<laughs> no, you cannot borrow uh, $20. Uh, let, me, let me say this because it's part of the content. Um, I, I, I just don't know why people that look good can't keep money in the bank. I can understand, excuse me, why I make myself a joke. Excuse me. I got to say a person look like me to have to work twice as hard to get a coin, right? But if I looked like Michael B. Jordan and had Michael B. Jordan for Zeke, ain't nowhere in the world I should be broke. I can understand me by how society staring his walk with a limp, you know, got bipolar and everything else. You know, I don't understand that. But you know why people don't be having money? Habits. Smoking habits. Drinking habits. I don't have those habits. And I tell these folks the same thing over and over and over and over and over. I don't have it. I just got paid. And I show my DMs of people because back in the day, I would be so nice when I would go out to eat or I pay for, you know, just being nice. Because I, like on a birthday, but then I'd be looking at people like, this ain't my birthday. I'm not, and I'm like, girl, y'all just can't keep that. I don't understand it. I work, when I got on this show, and I tell people that's attractive. I used to pimp back in the day. There is no way in the world that you can't use your looks to get a sugar daddy. You look too good to not have a sugar daddy. Now, it's one of my friends on Facebook. He got him a nice sugar daddy. And I told him, I said, you got your, you got your sugar daddy. He said, yeah, well, he was right. I should get a sugar daddy, and I got one. Now he goes on trips. He traveled. He was in California. He went. He traveled. He's going, he went to Jamaica on a cruise. He got him a nice sugar daddy. The only thing you got to do, talk to him, play with a little, got him nice sugar dip. I said, you are, you don't like to work, so just use your looks, but that's still work too. But it's better work than to be out here just begging. I don't understand that. And Cash App lets you take out a loan on Cash App. Did y'all know that? On Cash App, you can take out a loan, and I think the fee is only like $2.56. The only amount you can borrow from Cash App is $50. I don't know if they offered it to everybody, but they offered it to me. And then you got to pay back it with $2.50. You pay it back. I think the interest is like $2.50 or something like that. So it's just like... <sighs> And don't get me wrong, I, I like these people. Don't get me wrong, I like these people. But I just don't, I just don't understand why folks, I, 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 I don't, I don't understand. I don't get it. I love my associate. I love my so-called friends. I don't really call people my friends, associate friend with them. But they gotta get their stuff together, especially in the community. I work hard and I don't get my money up. Nope. I don't. Because and I know the ones that call, and I tell them, and, and they call again, but like, hey, you're gonna do an episode. They don't want to do that. I said, you gotta sit on my show for an hour for twenty bucks. Sit on my show, entertain. They don't want to do that. People don't want to work. I work hard for what I have, and I'm not. I have goals. If you don't want to get, you gotta get it together. Now I was hanging out with this particular person. We went out. I went out <laughs> and he said, I said, I'll buy you a drink because I'm not, I really don't want to drink because it's terrible service here. The waitress, it was just terrible service. So I was like, I'll buy you a drink or whatever. I didn't feel like going up to the bar because I'm the music was loud. It was just terrible. Like I wanted something to eat. I was really hungry. So I was like, I'll give you the I see the cash for the for the drink or whatever. I'm gonna go, blah, blah, blah. Hey, hey, congratulations on your new move. Love you, bro. And I hit and I went home and ate me a beautiful meal. Um, but I, I've I've noticed that I'm just not gonna have a lot like my 
my inner circle is changing. And if it's gotten so small, first my inner circle was just like, it was just me and Tank and Jonathan, um, uh, Jonathan Tank is the same person. And, and Jaquez, Jaquez is gone over to glory. He passed away and it was Tank, but now Tank is on drugs. So now my inner circle is just, I have to make a new inner circle. <laughs> it's no shade, but I have to make a new inner circle. And my circle, I, I'm learning that it's going to be so small because not only he, not only like friend, like family send me cash. Every, I have to block so many family members. They send a hundred dollars, 200, 300. I say, I work hard for what I have on YouTube. Like y'all didn't work for this. I did. I put in the hours, but you think I'm going to just give it? Absolutely not. Have to block. I have siblings that have, I haven't seen that's in prison, sent me a cash out request. And we haven't talked in years, in decades, like in a long time. I said, no. Because why would I keep giving to you? You don't want to change. I have taken people to work. There's now calling big. They lost them great jobs. Like, I don't understand it. And I look at people, and I'm a very observant person. When I'm off the ship, when I'm off the show, I'm very quiet. I'm sober. I'm quiet. I observe. I'm taking it all in. And I'm watching. For, I'm like, mm, I see why. Okay. Oh, I get that. And I said, I never want to be that type of person. I was that type of person that I spent everything, but I didn't have to beg for nothing. Like people send cash up requests. I was smart enough to have a platform. Hello. And I was smart enough to have all my bills paid. Some of these people be calling. Baby, they about to get put out. They lights off. They don't pay their bills. At least with me, it's a different type of broke. Let me break it down. You have the type of broke where you just bad with money. You just big, 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 big. And then you have the type of broke. I call it the working class broke where you paying all your bills, all your bills paid, and you waiting on the next pay period. You know what I'm saying? I've experienced that. Now I'm trying to switch out of that and try to have savings and reserves and changing my vocabulary up. You know what I'm saying? Not spending everything. It feels good when you can look at your accounts and you say, oh, wow, I have $200 saved. Then you look again, $400 saved. Then you look again, 1000 saved. Then you look again, 10000 Then you look again, 80000 you look again, 300000 And you have investments. You make your money grow. And you invest. And you live in life. you just not saving. you just enjoying life. But yet, you still have money. That's the era that I want to get in. And I'm learning that I can't be around these type of people that just want to take, 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 but don't want to have a mutual re give and receive relationship. And that's why I'm in it. So now my inner circle is changing. Now I got Don, great guy, awesome brother, meeting new people on there, like Aaliyah now. I met Nate in person. Um, just like meeting like different, just changing your inner circle. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm going to just tell you this story really quickly. And I'm going to take you off the air. I'm going to take you off the thing. I'm going to put the wildest show thing. I'm done with you, Larry. We was at the gun range. We was at the gun range. It was me. Aaliyah didn't show up yet, but Nate was there. So I'm taking a word on a subscriber about the gun range. It's going to be like $25. So I'm telling people, just bring 20, you know, 25. I'm thinking, baby, we Nate, we at the counter. That number is like 80 somewhat dollars. I think for the, the, the gun and the pow, the pow, pow, and, 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 and boom. But we didn't look at each other and be like, oh, I ain't got it. We, we, we gonna have to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. baby, they put out what he had. I put our way, we paid for it. And we were smart. Ain't no use of us trying to each one of us get a pow pow. That's dumb. Because none of us had a pow pow. We all inexperienced. So let's all just share this thing. And 
It was an iconic move. Then we all went to dinner. Nobody at the table said, oh, child, I, I left my wallet at home. Everybody paid. You know, so I felt like that's great. But I have people that's not even on YouTube. If it was them, I'm paying for everything. They ain't got it. Excuses out this world. And it's just like I have met better people on YouTube than in my real life. Now, Jonathan is exempt. The drugs just took him out. Before he was on drugs, man, kept money. The drugs just destroyed him. Um, and it's a sickness. But before the drugs, I remember how he saved this. And, and Jonathan always have a place in my heart. I always give to Jonathan because he's owed that. Because he did that for me when I ain't had nothing. That man let me move in him. Move, moving him when when I only know him for two days, maybe a day. He let me move in. We've been knowing each other for over a decade, so he will always have. He just in a position where I had to pull it back, but I still, if he needs something, I'm there. If he need a care package, I'm there. But I can't. The friend dynamic can't be like what it was due to how he streamed, how he chose the the, the pipe. Than the drink, than the friendship. So I have to like keep my distance, love them from afar, because I can't help you if you choose in that lifestyle. You got to walk that journey by yourself. But if you, anytime he call, he tracks me down and texts me or whenever he get a phone, I'm there for him. what you need. Okay, blah blah blah. But I can't try to force you out of what you do. I can only pray and be there when you're ready to come out. You know what I'm saying? So. When it comes with this situation, you know, people don't care. And and I love, like, but Jonathan never asks. And he still don't, like, asks. Even in his book, he never, he have always give, 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 give. And he went under a lot of pressure. Y'all pray for him. I was just on, just talking to him a couple. I can't talk to him a lot because he's in that lifestyle. So it's hard for me to, he's in that current state. So it's hard to communicate because it's difficult. But, you know, when we do get on the phone, we talk like it's old time. I can still, that old tank is right there. Uh, but then he goes off because the, the, the drugs, it kind of like altered his mental reality. Um, and I don't judge him. Uh, because I understand that what he went through, he he did it, and hopefully he can get out of it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's just how that goes. But nevertheless, I I don't know why people be calling when I, I say I'm going live. I'm going I don't know how to put it on mute. Don't call me when I'm on the live. But they did they, that they, they, people bold. Now, if you was going to throw them... Legs up in a circle. Hey, I give him twenty dollars if I get the. We love you, Lord Dave. Okay, <laughs> let me stop. Cause that don't even work. I'm in the era now, and please excuse me when I say this. I'm just not even that intimate and that with that anymore. My mindset, and I did this, and it's just my aha moment. They said, while you did that, you see how you're not into it no more? You want something more than just getting it in in the bedroom. You want, you want love. You want stability. You want uh, to create, you want to have a partnership of an empire. Y'all both just feeding each other energy and y'all just uh, intimacy. That's what you want. You want love and intimacy, not just getting it in with the whole blah, 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 blah. I'm out of that era because I, I try to, I'm just not in that mind frame. It's not the same. Like now at 33 years old, now in my twenties, I never thought about intimacy. I never thought about love. I never thought about partnership. That wasn't on my mind. Just get it in. Da, da, da. Okay. When the next one. All right. But my mindset is different. Like not only me working out, I'm just in a tra tra um, transitioning into a different level. You know, and my viewers see it more than people in my own real life. Even the real life people see it. When I say real life, it's people that know me personal versus online. But I had to put in some work, man. I had to put in some work. And it is what it is, man. 
they you know i've just put in the work so just just talking with like nate and i like talking to him on the phone um give me a quick second because i think it's kind of hard for me to bring up day day all, all this controversial it ain't really that much controversy but um i like i like i like i like talking to him on the phone because um it's a it's like it's a challenge not almost a challenge just something different you know what i'm saying i like i i love the privacy i love um the vibe uh i could be myself he know that i don't have to explain the type of job that i do and it's good to have those billing that to be a friend like i i like i love that uh with Aaliyah, she getting to know wiley off camera then versus on camera and i did too much off camera with the drinking okay i ain't gonna all go to that get kind of like Aaliyah's kind of bougie i was ratchet baby me and nate we were like man screw this booze we baby bring in the liquor Bring in the hit of C. Bring in the gray goo. We that was wild. We couldn't even be booze if we tried. <laughs> so, so, wait. I know it's still cool. I'm sloppy drunk. I couldn't believe it. I'm so glad this did not happen in Vegas. Oh, I wouldn't be able to lay that down. I was drunk. Fell whoosh. My knees was in pain for days. And I did all that because it was Nate's birthday. And I'm trying to impress his friends there. And I'm like, I can't show up like I'm broke. I can't show up like, hey, this is my boy birthday. Hey, what kind of drinks you want? I'm trying to show off. That's boot. You my little boo thing. I little boo thing. You know, I got, I gotta, you know, show like I'm the man. You, 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 you know, and you know, it was just. <laughs> see, I, I do remember it because I was sober. Wiley came. Like I just, it was, it just that warmed my heart. Like I genuinely like felt the love. I felt comfortable. I could let my guards. I ain't got to worry about YouTube analytics going live. Like we just, we just vibe that we just really, really vibe. It was, it was a vibe. And then when Aaliyah came, like when I met Aaliyah, it was a vibe when I met Aaliyah because Aaliyah was like, oh, this is a good area. And I just, I, I was so cool with Aaliyah. I just, I walked in her car like I didn't even call like hey Leah you know how you supposed to go I just walked in like she one of my homegirl we've been knowing each other for years okay I told her I was up the street because Leah didn't believe she believed in boots because she believed in the oil line facade. She said, "Oh wow, this is a nice area and all oh, this is you're just just gonna get in my car widely <laughs> and she got a nice car." So then. I go in Nate car. I'm like, who car is this? This car is nice. And I'm trying to act like I'm used to something, you know. But if it's nice, it's nice. That car was nice. And then they was like, let's go to a liquor store. Do you? I said, we go total wine. <laughs> and from that, I should have never suggested that. I should have waited till it closed. But we went there. Um, 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 um. It, it, it was just it was so it was fun and it's okay uh it's fun i i didn't want a car and cars is expensive for leah tv because i didn't want i got approved for a car drove off the lot with a nice car but i saw them car no take it back take it back no thank you I went back to that car lot. I told her, I said, my girl, my girl ain't with ain't with it. You know, my girl felt like we can get better numbers. So well, thank you. I returned that car. That was the fastest return. I returned that car in, within one hour. <laughs> <laughs> I returned that car in one hour. 
And my sister, she was shocked. What did we get? I said, I, I, the car don't make me. I'm Wiley walking. Eh, but shut up behind. I'm Wiley on the bus. Don't no car make me. Baby, you will see me up the street walking with my head held high. I ain't ashamed. Yes, I like to walk. I told my boss, I said, yes, I love to walk. No, do you want me to come people? No, thank you. I don't want to. I don't want to. You don't want to put me up. No, thank you. Let me walk. I'm happy. I don't want no car. If I want, I go get one. My credit is is fair. It's almost about fifty points away from seven hundred points now. If I want one, I get one. But no, that ain't my goal to have no car. Baby, give me a bus. Well, I can sit. Let somebody else do the driving. I was born in the big city. And the cars don't impress me. Give me a good old bus. Let me run to the train. I'm happy. I don't need no car. No heavy. So I could be in a nurse home working triples and doubles to pay for a car I can't enjoy? That ain't living for me. I don't want to be able to. Well, in order to afford this car, I'm going to do two doubles Five days a week. No, ma'am. No, sir. Take it back. No, thank you. In my Wendy Williams work. Thank you, Nate. Take it back. Not for me. Let me see you walk. Walk. And I'm wobbling. You just see me wobbling that street. Baby, I walk these streets of Texas like I own it. I be walking. And I'm walking with the white folks. I love white people. I'm drinking my water. Walking. Limping, I'm able to walk, sit at a restaurant with the white folks, eat, get back to walking. I don't mind walking. I don't mind it because for health reasons, I need it. And I love it. Ah, yeah, ba ba da sha ta da ba ha. And I just feel a shift in my life. And because I'm back, Walking in public transit, sometimes Uber and Lyfting. I'm now listening to books more. I'm getting back to what I, my foundation is educating myself and not worried about what other people are doing and get persuaded by their lifestyle. Maybe they can afford it. If they can't, that's their lifestyle. My lifestyle is going to be, I, 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 I got other aspirations and goals. It ain't kind on it. Now, what is on my list? I'm going to give you this for free. Driver. I want somebody to drive me. I want a 24-7 driver. If I want to go to the movies, I just want a driver. And whenever I come into some money, security, a chef, and a driver. And then when I walk, I want my security detail to walk with me. That's what I want. And a driver. I can sit back there. I want me a beautiful white driver. Because white folks, on, I like, oh, I want some white. And I want my security to be black. I want to play in the morning, Frank Sinatra. I want to be talking about the stock market. I want to be having meetings with my team. With my white driver, my black security, my black assistant from Mississippi. I want me a country assistant. <laughs> I want her from Alabama. <laughs> So I'm just I'm going on these rats now. But in my clothes, I just the car, but Nate Carr was really nice. And and I'm I like hanging out with Nate. Like I, I like hanging out with Ali. And the reason why I think me and Nate we connect is because we in the same lifestyle. Like we we in the LGBT, <laughs> in a, you know. I, we don't say that. He he never said that too. But you know, we have we have some interests. We have similar interests. And I just like talking to him. 
I can't talk to a leader. She in a relationship. Can't talk to her no more and flirt. That disrespectful to her man. I can't sit there and flirt with her no more. I'm respectful. Nate is single. So I can flirt with him. I can't be flirting with a Leah. That's disrespectful. And I'm ignorant. Especially if you give me some liquor. You think? I can't do that. I got to respect her relationship. This is a new Wiley. Oh, Wiley. Wouldn't care. I pull my leg brace and still flirt. Who cares? But the new Wiley, I got some integrity. Thanks, Wiley. It was a ruby. That's why I was able to take a cat nap in the backseat so I wouldn't end up like Karen. Yes! I don't want you to end up like Karen! Because <laughs> mm. it's comfortable in your car. It was comfortable. So we didn't want you to never get, and it was, it was just a vibe. It was a vibe. Because you know, you know, because he, he's a fan now. I can't be flirting. That's why some of y'all can't come to Vegas. I be flirting. That man, a brother told me in an email, yeah, my girl like me too much, Wally. She ain't coming. <laughs> I be flirting, talking about Yoni. <laughs> I'm still a man. A man know another man. I don't care how. Cock that eye is. He's still a man. I don't care that man say he in the community. He say that, but he's still a man. The way how y'all be watching giggling in the shower, shaving, giggling. You be giggling with your man like that. We wait for him to go to work so he can turn Wally back on. <laughs> and some of the brothers actually like me going live because y'all be distracted. Y'all get off them not paying half the rent in the light bill. <laughs> you know on the first one you be calculating your budget. He like it that you listen to Wally. You get distracted. You don't be on his tail. Anyway, but I love y'all. You know, and I can't wait to have a little fun. Not too much, but it's nothing wrong treating yourself to the movies. It's nothing wrong treating yourself to a nice dinner. It's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's really, really, really nothing wrong with that. And it was just, um, they said, thanks. Yes, yeah, I read that comment. It's nothing wrong with that. I remember it was a guy off a of Jack. <laughs> this is my last season. It was terrible. He was a Mexican or whatever. It, I wasn't into it. He was uncut. It was terrible. I wasn't into it. He didn't speak that much English. I just wasn't into it at all. He wasn't a Saved by the Bell. That guy that, you know, he's older than what is the guy that was in Saved by the Bell. He's on a, a ET. He's on E! News or whatever. He's not one of them type of Mexicans. But anyway, it just... So, it wasn't the best. It was terrible. Hey, Hollis, he speak English, but some words he didn't know. It was hard to communicate. I don't know what that means. I'm like, oh, this ain't going to work, player. Like, I get real intimate, and I say a lot of urban words, EBT words in the bedroom. He didn't understand it. He didn't understand it. So I went back on my fat. Well, no, I did. I didn't go back on my fast. I I backslid it into something else. This chocolate dude. But I wasn't into him either. It's just like my mindset just wasn't. It's just not into it. My mind is on a different frequency other than that. You got to do something. To, 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 you got to, got to be into it just, I get it now. It's not just the physical aspect. It's also, that is also mental with men too. Like mentally, I just wasn't, we weren't connected. It was just a one night stand and one, I had to force myself to get in it. <clears throat> even though he was attractive, but it's not even, it's just that. It's like, what else do you have to offer? Anyway, we'll see. Um, they said, what's the EBT words? Mm, I can't really give you that, Prada. I can't give you that. I, I I just get real ratchet in the bedroom. So 
I can't give you that. But I he he, he enjoyed it. He's still hitting me up on Jack now, but I really not go. Oh, I need connection. Anyway, I need to really like you, and we have conversations other than the bedroom. Where we just talk about, hey, how was your day? Oh, my day was this. Oh, how was your day? Oh, oh, this. And we just talk about regular stuff, like you coming home from work. This is how it should start. Other than, like, I know the dating and all that. Right, but then outside of that, you getting off work, you just building that conversation. You just talk about random stuff, and y'all just vibe. And then y'all hang out and y'all vibe. That's I I used to love Jack uh, Pretty Handsome, but not no more. It's like I'm in a different vibe. I used to love it. I don't know what happened. Maybe because of the fast that I took, it's hard for me to get in it. Anyway, little black boy, you beautiful. Oh, yeah. So. I can't wait for Vegas. This was amazing. Wow, we got a lot of people that's viewing us. We got 500 viewers right now and all platforms like combined it's a 528 viewers. Let me see how many viewers we got on X. What is going on right now? Oh, yikes. We got some T in our DM on X. I'm going to mind my business. You sure love it Friday. We got 438 people on X. What? Baby, it is more people watching me on X. Ah! Did I cover all the topics? Yes, I cover all the topics, baby. Shout out to the people on X. Okay. Bougie, I cover all the topics. I'm just ad-libbing. 453. China! <laughs> wow. Well, you got to be accessible in this market. All right. Thank you, Jada. Love you. 455. Come on. Well, they like me on X. I be posted everywhere on YouTube, X. We going to take over everywhere, right? It's my era. This is my time. Uh. Uh, I can't, I will, I, I can't, I will, it's done, have been my motto, and my pastor have been preaching this month, uh, a, a month of success, oh, yeah, my shatatai, and so, there, it was a series that my pastor have been preaching, a month of success, Apostle Kevin Cunningham with the Transformation Center in Chicago, he had been preaching that, and I listened to that message, and it just, like, it's just been working for me this month, a month of success, amen, God bless you and may God keep you. Um, it's the word. I love you all. This has been amazing. A month of success. You know, you always trying to keep, uh, you know, we always trying to keep you longer. Yeah. Donate and keep me longer. <laughs> but nevertheless, if you don't know that, you know, I'm a work. I'm a work, work, work. Okay. Okay, and I did watch uh 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 what was the lady name? I can't think of her name, the one that ran for president. <laughs> I can't think of her name. Uh Shirley Chisholm. I watched that. I'm gonna go watch that again. Baby Regina, you did that. Now who gonna play Russell Simmons? <laughs> who gonna play Russell Simmons? His documentary gotta come out, surviving Russell Simmons. Who going to play him? Before we get up out of here, I want to know who going to play Russell Simmons. Can somebody name an actor? Who going to play Russell Simmons? Let me know. You gonna, Who going to play him? You got to eat grass, drink green water. 
You got to pretend that you a vegan in Buddha. Who going to play him? Okay? Pharrell could play him. Ooh, Ebony. Pharrell definitely could play him. Jada said, you did commentary on Quiet on the Set. I did do commentary on Quiet on the Set. And let me tell you about Quiet on the Set. Ain't nothing quiet on that set. It was a lot of pedal things going on. And I hope parents don't, they be vigilant and they watch for their children. They said Pharrell could play him. Prada said, uh, not Pharrell. They said Jaden Smith, Ma, Will Smith's son? <laughs> Wait a minute. The Karate Kid? Diggy Simmons skip. Oh, Diggy. Diggy Simmons can play him. I want to know where he play his father with those allegations, though. Would he play his father without the allegations? Okay. Also, we got updated news, you guys about Diddy. I need you all to type Diddy in the chat. Uh, shout out to a friend of the show, uh, Miss Pam. She um, just posted <clears throat> this. <clears throat> Excuse me. She said the warrants for Diddy were out of the Southern District of New York. Homeland Security just executed the warrants. I was just in the same court for Bishop Lamar Whitehead and those assistant USA attorneys play zero games that is what miss pam have said she was in the court she said i come on the southern district of new york that is the same district that prosecuted and won against uh that and then also we have megan cunef said what she said but pam was actually in the courtroom in the southern district of new york because she reported on the, the lamar whitehead because i'm a i'm a member over there and she's been reporting on there. I'm I, I'm a paid member over there, and she's been reporting on it. She reports on a lot. When I interview, um, and y'all send this to Pam, it's no shade. I throw a little shade, but I'm an entertainer. But when I interview Bishop Lamar Whitehead, all of the questions that I was able to get <clears throat> came from Pam being a member of her channel. Everything that she did, the legwork, I just asked the question. Uh, they say, you think Diddy career will end like R. Kelly? Absolutely. Yes. I don't think, I think Diddy was gonna be, is going to be foolish just to go to trial. It's going to end. Yes, ma'am. I pulled the take my chicken out the freezer and I didn't do it. I pulled take my chicken out the freezer. But do I got some more chicken drumsticks in there? They said, do Megan report on white people news or she just only want to be? No, she do. It was this white lady <clears throat> that got, um, it was, it's an LA fitness uh, thing. She was harassing LA fitness. She, she used to work for LA fitness, but she was harassing, um, doxing the LA fitness, people, pretending that she was an LA fitness um, employee, said she owned LA fitness. She was um, hiring people, pretending like she was LA Fitness hiring people. She was harassing the HR. She'd been banned. Um, she'd been banned for multiple, all the LA Fitness, and she kept breaking uh, the order. And 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 then she, um, and then the judge put her in jail. And then her lawyers just trying to fight it and say you don't have the legal right to put him. It, uh, to put her, let her sit in jail. She she didn't commit no crime. It, it and she's a white woman. Okay, you said that's a sign. What else should I eat? Did y'all don't like me eat chicken? What else should I eat? Nate, can you come over? <laughs> I need somebody. I don't know if Nate cook. Do Nate cook? I was with the same thing. I don't know. Oh, okay. Just check it. Yeah. I'm talking about Megan. Uh, I, I forgot the lady because I'm subscribed to her show. I'm subscribed to her newsletter too. Oh, fish. I don't even. 
Do I have some fish? I have salmon, yeah. But I like chicken. I like chicken. I like ch- I just need somebody to cook for me. Ch- oh, I bring home the bacon, the shrimp, the biscuits. Just cook for me. Beef. Aaliyah, oh, you can't cook for me. Your man gonna be mad if you out here cooking for me. Okay. <laughs> Turkey tacos, pork chops. Y'all naming all that stuff, but I, I yes, I throw down, but I only cook unhealthy food. Okay, Nate, you gonna cook for me? Oh, he gonna cook for me. Is you gonna cook for me, Nate? Oh, you can't cook at all, Aaliyah. Wow. No pork. I haven't had pork in so long. And they shrimp fried rice here in, in, in here is terrible. It's it's really, really, really terrible. What time do us clucking close? Let me see what time they close. What's clucking? It's closed. It closed at eight. Not what's clocking. It closed. It's about my bye bye. Man, I want to be some. Some of the other mouth sauce chicken in a, in a piece. I really wanted that. Yo, made me miss what's clucking. Yo, made me miss it. And that McDonald's is terrible. No worry. You said try me. I don't want no vegan meal. Oh, you said wait till Friday. Okay, I'll wait till Friday. Yeah, Shabaha. I'll wait till Friday. Maybe I should drink some green water. <laughs> Uh, so maybe I should drink some green water. <laughs> I think I got some chicken in that refrigerator. Paul, can you check in that refrigerator? You pulled the take it out of there. Yeah, you was supposed to take it out of there. Don't be sorry. Be careful. I want a statement about Diddy from Suge Knight. Oh, you already know you're going to get that. Don't be sorry. Be careful. But don't worry. I'm going to order something. I'm just going to put something on my stomach because I really want some greens. So Nate going to come over and cook for me. Then he going to be like, Wally, your food is ready. Okay? I think he gonna say that. Right, Nate? <laughs> Nate get tired of me because I be calling Nate and they be like, why we go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. 
I'm going to sleep after this. I'm going to rub this body down. I got to get some green alcohol because uh, Lala told me green alcohol is good for my legs and stuff. So uh, we want to thank uh, X. We want to thank YouTube. We want to thank Twitch. We want to thank Facebook, both my Facebook pages, The Wally Show. We want to thank you all so very much. Let me pull the chair out for my king. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I really... <laughs> Let me shut up. Just do the uh, Skippy dance. I, I, I love you. But anyway, I, you know, um, in my clothes, I don't know if I'm, I, I can do a relationship because I've been single for so long. And I don't know if I can do it. I'm nervous because I never had a serious relationship. You know, I'm nervous. Like, I'm so nervous, like, dating. I'm, like, so nervous, like, we together. I've never had that. everything that I had was like what two days, two, three days. It wasn't nothing serious. I'm talking about something serious. I never had that. I never had that. And I know when I talked to my counselor about this, she said, Do you think you deserve that? I said, Yeah. And my brand is, you know, and I love it so much because I'm, you know, working on that. And, and I, you know, yeah. But y'all will be, y'all, because I spoiled y'all so much. So having a relationship with me, this for whoever I date and be in a relationship, they got to be strong. I, I, I ain't going to tell y'all who I'm going to date. I can't tell y'all. I can't tell y'all because y'all ruthless. Y'all is ruthless in the chat. Y'all ignorant. E-B-T. Y'all is ignorant. I, I, I ain't going to be at No. Y'all ignorant. I ain't going to tell it. Mm -mm. Y'all ignorant. So I'm not going to tell. Ha, ha, ha. No, Ms. Netta ruined, ruined it for everybody. But Ms. Netta got who she got. Thank you all so very much. This is the first time ever on the weekday in a long time that I went live back to back. That's because I started out right, working out, stretching this body. And I saw a guy at the gym from an Alpha, uh, uh, Osama Phi I, the purple. What's the purple fraternity? What's the purple? Omega? What is the purple? What is, the, when they rock the purple? What is the purple one? What, what, who, when they represent the purple, they got purple. Where's the purple one? The, 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 they've got on purple. What, uh, the Omegas. So it was this Omega story time. I'm at the gym. I got up at 4 30 in the morning. Before 4.30 in the morning, let's say I got up at 4.15 in the morning. I got up, put on my workout clothes. I go to the gym with the white folks. But it was a, a dash of chocolate. And he was working out on the trail. I was working out. I was eyeing him, you know. Look good. I licked that <laughs> My eyes was oozing. <laughs> my eyes was oozing. I'm just looking. Omega Phi Psi. I couldn't stop looking. And I worked out more sweat. He was up there with the wheel, pushing the wheel up and there. I'm just looking. I said, oh, he look good. So I go, I get done with my almost my one hour workout. I don't, you know, and my white folks, they write. But they don't like a lot of noise in the morning. I've noticed that. I get a little loud in the gym. Not that loud, but I'm listening to my music. Uh, ain't no stopping us now. We're on the move. I like to sing. Hey, I like to dance. Hey, you know, it kind of scares the white people for my energy. I guess I'm too urban. So anyway, I get done with my workout because I got to be at work. So I said, I need to shower. Uh, I have on my shower shoes because I don't want to get af a athletic feet, whatever that thing. So I put on my um 
my shower shoes, and I, I, I see myself slim down, and uh, 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 I get in the shower, I take a shower, whatever, and um, and when I'm leaving out, I see him, he about to get in the shower, I'm like, man, why do I have to go to work? So, um, so... I have to go to work, and I was just all that muscular chocolate, <laughs> all that oh, the psi, oh, 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 what was that? Omega psi five, omega psi wale. You know, my mind just went in a lustful place, but it was good eye candy. I looked at him, and I got a good look, man. That is an alpha, and that is all Omega, all of that. I went to work happy this morning. Oh, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was in there sweeping, mopping, folding laundry, washing windows, polishing the doorknobs, vacuuming the elevators, trying to clean out the outside. That's how good I felt. Because I saw so beautiful. So someone told me the morning workout is the best. Thank you to that viewer that told me that. Uh, work out with me in the morning, it feels so good. It's like you starting your day off right. It was raining and I felt good. I felt Amazing. I felt good. It was the best feeling ever. And work out, and then I'm doing a show, going to sleep. So, because like my weekdays are busy, because I'm busy doing that, and I've got a new regimen. Because at first, I was, uh, Going to sleep, walking, and stuff like so. I had to change up my regimen. So I'm just doing stuff to make me better. You know what I'm saying? And Nate noticed my weight loss. Aaliyah noticed my weight loss. The reason why, you know, because they saw me um about six months ago, and he have noticed it, and it's gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh I, I meet one my weight loss doctor um after Vegas. Uh, we're going to see my options. I'm just curious um, for that. Wally and I, you're speaking in tongue. Why? Lust I mean, but hey, it's a good feeling. It's a good feeling. It was a good feeling. But, you know, hey, you look good. So I just can't wait. That That's like my goal is to like have such a body, of, you know, and people lust after me. But one day, one day, dang, my food here already? I'm with the white folks. Man, they got here pretty fast. They said, check TMZ. What did they say on TMZ? I'm going to bed, y'all. Y'all about to keep me all day up with Diddy. Child, he in his private jet. Oh, yeah, it's something else. Okay. Uh, 603 listeners. Oh, X. Ah! I would love to have a bottle of wine to drink. But I don't have none. All right. 
Hold on, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Diddy is pacing around the airport. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is just y'all gotta be making this stuff up. Okay, Diddy, what are you doing? Okay, yes, Diddy is pacing around the airport. He got on blue jean pants, look like a beige shirt. Blue jean, I mean, oh no, blue sweatpants, like a green shirt. He is pacing around the airport. And that is uh, exactly what he's doing. And that is an update of what we have. Is I'm having an after show on station here? No. The after show going to be me enjoying my night. Because I got to get up early. Thank you all so very much. Uh, we want to thank my viewers on X. Y'all have made history. Over 600 viewers on my X platform. That never happened before ever. That's the highest rated ever uh, that we have done over there on X. I want to thank my supporters over there. My I want to thank uh, Elon uh, Musk for his amazing um, skill. It's been one of the most beautiful platforms ever. I love all platforms, and I love that brother, brother Elon Musk. He's one of the greatest guys ever to exist. Um, I, re I really I really feel like uh, you are like one of the greatest guys. You are just amazing. Amazing, 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 amazing. All right. Thank you all. Would I be back tomorrow? Yes, Jane, I got to come back tomorrow. If I want if I want to go to that next level, you got to put the time in into this platform. I'm not thirsty. I'm hungry for success. Amen. So in order for me to get that, get the results of that, you got to put that work in. And thank you all so very much. Thank you to my team for sending me this story. And we will continue. Continue to send me some more details. Yes. Okay. I will be back tomorrow for those that want to contribute to the platform. We are one. We are a great platform, y'all. Our cash shop, dollar sign, Marquise Wally 28, Zell Wiley Show at gmail.com. For those viewers that do want to meet me in person, uh, we are doing a meet and greet, and I'm teaming up with the beautiful Couture Bay, the Bay Squad. It's April 26th through the 28th for the Palace Station Hotel Casino. We link it up there. If we could go to the restaurant, gamble, drink, travel all around Vegas. We're going to have a good time. And I want to see you all there uh, April 26th or the 28th. Please, you know, email me and let me know you're coming at Wiley Show Productions at gmail.com. Wiley Show Productions. All of the information is on the flyer. If you have any information, you could, uh, you could DM me or you could reach out to Couture Bay or her social media pages. Um, you go to her YouTube page, Couture Bay, you could find all of her social media pages or her YouTube page. Uh, Wiley Show Production at Gmail for any bite of information from my end. You can email me there. I would love to see you. All right. Thank you all. Um, oh, you eating this left? I wish. I would love that. 
Oh, barbecue, chicken, mac and cheese, squash, white potatoes. Okay. Oh, that sounds good. We'll see y'all later. And if more information come out, we'll be back live. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Little black boy, you beautiful. Little black girl, you are enough. When times get hard, always remember to put God first. We want to thank Nate702. Y'all said thank y'all. Congratulate Nate for being a moderator. Um, I'm shocked that he said yes. Uh, I like added new mods. Um, it, it was time we reached 35,000. So it's time for a new mod to be added uh, to the fold. Y'all know Nate be getting it in the chat. He be challenging me, which is a good thing. Everybody challenged me. Uh, proud of me, Nate, uh, Aaliyah, Blue Skies, um, Day, D. It's just so many. Uh, Couture, uh, Katina, uh, uh, Latavia, Melanie Queen, Shy. Uh, it's just so many uh, 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 mods. Uh, Latavia, so many mods. Little Maria, so many mods that have been showing me um, so much love. And I love you all so very much. And we will see y'all in the other broadcast. Uh, thank you all so very much. Let's keep this party going by hitting the comments. And I'll see y'all on the other side. Talk to y'all later.